What follows are some highlights for the last mission that I needed to complete as part of the upgrading and engineering of my L6 rocket launcher. It's a mission to recover an item from a strongbox at an abandoned settlement. Whilst the plan was that the settlement would be empty upon arrival it became clear that some more unsavoury spicy types had moved in instead and they needed to be dealt with before the mission could be completed successfully. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I, I love how this game just happens to look amazing on occasions because when you were there that thing happened to be there. That planet hasn't been placed there for me to see when I'm landing at this starport. That's just what it happens to look like at this particular moment in time. A developer hasn't been involved in that. It, it hasn't been hand placed. It just happens. I love how Elite is accidentally gorgeous and jaw dropping on occasions. And it's one of the things that keeps me coming back to this game. So the plan here was just to um, park nearby, um, get out into the SRV and have a little scoot around before finding the thing that we needed to recover. Elite being elite, um, sometimes things don't often go that way um, as was the case here. So I thought I'd found somewhere I was going to park. And it appears that there are what I like to call some local colour already at the installation. The ship isn't in any danger but it's better to hang back, have a quick look at the situation before deciding what to do. This ship is uh, kind of my second tier sort of BGS ship so it's, it's well equipped for most situations. I've got missiles here that could easily deal with squashy targets at settlements like this but um, it's a lot more fun quite often to get out and shoot them in the face. attack again but like I say not a problem. Under attack. Having launched the SRV job number one dismiss the ship. And then get the SRV out of harm's way. Um, I can just drive over the brow of the hill here and be away from small arms fire in fairly short order. A, a beautiful stark um, quality to this uh, this moon. It's in the Acellus Prima system if you want to find it. So leave the SLV out of harm's way just over the brow of the hill. They'll have forgotten about me already at this point um, but I'm about to give them a sharp reminder that I'm here. All the gear I'm wearing is completely upgraded and engineered. Um, the AR-50 that you'll see me using throughout all of this is an absolute cannon. So I often do this. Um, I've got no hope of really um, seriously damaging them but um, from this range but a couple of rounds behind the left ear I find um, brings them closer quicker and you can do that. As you can see my shields are not really in any kind of danger from that. So I'm acutely aware that I've obviously been very noisy at this point so I'm now looking for surprises. And tonight's next contestant and toast. Once their shields are down that's it. You, you catch a glimpse of your shadow um, doing this every now and then and you just look so mean and so purposeful. The ambient noise often like often um, keeps me on guard as well. I'm, I'm always a little bit nervous that a ship is going to drop a, f a few surprises in. It does happen occasionally which is what I was checking for then. I think it was just ambient noise but... 
it got my attention for a second. If you catch them in that particular, as in that situation where they haven't got their shields up, they sustained fire from this thing even at long range. They haven't got a hope. So I'll often pop barrels like that just because it, it brings the locals closer. I'm in a nice elevated position here so it's extremely unlikely that I'm going to get attacked from behind. Just to make sure. <laughs> It's nice of them to put their shields on when it's dark like this. It makes them a lot easier to kill. The one thing this Dominator suit hasn't got um, is an awful lot of battery capacity, so I tend to use the uh, the torch. And honestly, the shields um, only when I need to, really. Particularly in a situation like this, it's a bit different at uh, a conflict zone. That obviously the shields will be on all the time then, because you've just got danger everywhere. But in a situation like this, um, I'll quite often flick the shields on and off as I think it's um, as I think it becomes necessary. A quick look on the um, SRV scanner there, um, and it's blindingly apparent that I've only really got one more target left. I know I've got a bust open a secure container, so I've grabbed myself an e-breach. And as is my want, normally I've grabbed the high ground again straight away, just to get a good overview of where our bad guy might be. In a situation like this, before I've completely cleared the settlement out, I won't even think about looking for the object that I'm here to recover. Job number one is always... Um, rid myself of any problems and then I can deal with the actual mission uh, at my leisure. Shields on because I know they're nearby. And because my quarry's location is not immediately apparent, you can see them on the radar there, I decide to deliberately make some noise. Just to bring them out of the shadows really. Here we go. And toast. So now, I'm looking for the thing I'm actually looking for, the actual reason I'm here. So job number one is find myself a terminal. The site's obviously powered down. You don't have to power up the whole site to use a terminal however. There we go. So a quick look at the facility exterior. There's the thing I'm looking for. All the bad guys that you've just killed will have uh, bounties if you're in the business of collecting bounties if you need the money. So you can do that as you're going along. I tend not to bother these days, honestly. Here's the thing I'm after, e-breach time. And there it is. So this settlement is, is obviously empty and powered down, so you can uh, you can loot the rest of the settlement if you so desire, pretty much at your leisure. There is a, a slight chance, I think, that um, bad guys could be dropped in. More often than not, it doesn't happen, though. That noise is my ship coming back. Love the scorpion. 
not a fan of the scarab. I've not made a secret of that, but I absolutely love the scorpion. There are scenarios, obviously, where the scarab's better, but the scorpion, for most stuff that I tend to do, the scorpion is the, is the SLV for me. And there we go. As I mentioned at the top, this was actually the last the last mission, the last piece of material gathering that I needed to do to get my um, engineering finished on my L6 rocket launcher. I've yet to use that in anger, but uh, I'm looking forward to that. It's also the last bit of engineering I needed to do for all the major primary weapons in the game. So I've now got one of everything, suits included, um, that's upgraded and fully engineered and good to go. That's it for now. If you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to make sure you see all our content and if you'd like to help support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also become a patron just like the wonderful folks you see listed on screen right now. Gaining access to exclusive perks, content and community events. We'll see you next time.